In this video, let's look at AS2 synthesizer and its vector envelope. AS2 combines subtractive synthesis with elements of FM and wavetables. It might look intimidating at first, but if you spend some time with it, you realize that this synth has the same structure as any other. Here we have three oscillators with slightly different waveform settings, two filters that can be used in parallel or series, two LFOs, and three ADSR envelopes. If you are familiar with digital synthesizers, you will quickly understand how to use it, except one thing, the vector envelope. I haven't seen similar approach in other plugins, so let's talk about it and learn how to use it. Most of you are probably familiar with standard ADSR envelopes and how it can be used to modulate parameters. LFO is simply another way to approach it and usually is used for synced effects. Now a vector is a different way of doing that. You can create multiple snapshots of parameters using XY pad and then morph between them. At first it might be confusing because CS2 doesn't really give you a visual feedback, but if you learn it once it will be easy to set it up any way you want. Let's go to the main window and explore it together. First I'll switch vector envelope to oscillate just mix only, so we can focus on how it interacts with one parameter. Next I can pick a point on the line and solo it. This way we can hear what is happening at selected stage of the envelope and make changes if needed. The triangle interface is used to bounce between three oscillators, represented as three points. I can move the plug all the way to the top so we can hear first oscillator. Next enable the second oscillator, change the waveform and transpose it to our semitones up. Now I can balance between two oscillators using the plug. And on the third oscillator I'm going to pick one of digital waveforms. Transpose it seven semitones up and check how it all blends together. Sounds good. Now we can use this setup to explore vector envelope. You can add more points at any time. I think 4 should be enough for this example. Right click on any empty area and choose to insert an extra point. Next we can select the first point and position the mix balance as we want. I transposed the oscillators earlier on purpose, so balancing between them would create some melodic content or a nice harmony. Make sure solo mode is active, so you can audition current settings if you want to. Each point can store position of a mix plug in this example. On the first step I want to hear first oscillator only so I move the plug all the way up. On the second step, I will move the plug to the second oscillator and repeat the same on the third step. And the final one will balance all three oscillators equally. So what we just did is four snapshots with different mix settings. Before I play it, I want to move sustain from second step to the fourth. You can see the small S indicator. So now if I hold MIDI key, Vector Envelope will pass all four points and then keep the sustain snapshot playing. It will make more sense as soon as we start hearing the results. Don't forget to disable solo mode. The distance between points can be adjusted in milliseconds. I think this is a good starting point for a nice evolving path. Let's activate loop mode, so vector continuously moves through 4 points. When loop mode is active you can set the speed of envelope and make it sync to the rest of the project, or free. At this point you should have better understanding of how it works. I'm going to make it more complex by adding XY pad. The X axis will be assigned to filter cutoff and Y axis to resonance. I want to add some filter modulation so the pad sounds more interesting. Same process here, pick a point, adjust XY pad position and test in solo mode to be sure each step sounds the way you want. I think this should sound good. Let's disable solo and hear it. Maybe try different looping mode as well. If your vector is synced, time changes won't affect loop length, just relative position of each step.
Next, I can use built-in chorus and distortion to add some character. That sounds better. Now let's play with the speed too. One more option is the curve. Hold plus tab will simply jump between valleys. You can experiment with that section too. Next I want to show you one more example. This time vector envelope will be used to shape percussive sound. I'm going to use one sine wave oscillator and a sine xy pad to pitch and filter. Let's see what I can make with that. To be honest, I think this way of modulation is quite interesting. I'd say I like it more than standard ADSR or LFO. Here I rely on the sound more than the visual representation. Besides, it gives me more flexibility. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Until next time.